guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we're going to be touring the top five winners for our most recent Discord build contest in Planet Zoo. This contest's name was Show Your Pride, and it was in celebration of Pride Month to celebrate who you are, what you're proud of, and so builds were very loosely themed to whatever represented you. So that is what we will see on these next five builds going forward. If you do enjoy this video, show the creators some love by leaving a like down below and downloading their builds and checking them out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to our winners. So in fifth place, we have Carnile's Seal Harbor by Andre. We're greeted with a nice happy pride sign. And if we turn around, we have our great seal habitat right over here. And I love the subtle hints, right? We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, the rainbow in the little uh, umbrellas going across the viewing area. And I love the little subtle hints for pride. And then we look into our little gray seal habitat. They have a nice open water areas, a nice little dock. You can see them being chunky and <laughs> jumping around on the shore over there. And uh, foliage. I love the background rock work. Really nice and classic use of the ponytail palm. One of my favorites. One thing that I actually really liked that I totally forget is just these like purely decorative poles here with the rope around it very harbor feeling and I always forget to add little things like that. <gasps> we have a little seagull <laughs> and some lighting. We got some food over here. If we walk this way, uh, speed up just a little bit, we can see there's a viewing area on this side as well. The seals can actually come over here, but I haven't seen them over here just yet. They kind of like to hang out on this side. We have a beautiful little lighthouse. We get a closer look at the dock over here. Look at this viewing. You can see them so close up. The gray seals are actually one of my favorite animals from the aquatic pack. I love them so much. And then if we continue on over here, we have a little itty bitty backstage area. Not too much back here to show off, just some facilities still in the same theme, which matches very nice. We have another beautiful little pride flag right there with a gray seal decal. We get another, let's just, let's be a bad guest. We're always a bad guest. Let's go into the habitat and check it out. We have this nice little dock area, very again, classic harbor. The seals can come out here and hang out, but they're all kind of in the water right now with their little feeder at the bottom. Beautiful. Now let's escape out of this and take an overall view. You can see it fits within the parameters there. Very nice. So in order to get over here, they can swim underneath and then kind of come up on this little beachy area, which is very cool. I love it. I love the use of foliage. And then, like I said, the very subtle kind of hints of pride stuff. This would be a very typical thing if a zoo was decorating for pride. You know, they have these signs they put up, special umbrellas that they put up, and then for the rest of the year, if they wanted to, take them down, put them up only when they wanted to. So it's a nice little hint of something that's not super integrated into the habitat, but something, like I said, some decorations that they can put up. And we have two little babies. How cute. Check them out, like sunning themselves in the sun. Oh, we have three babies. One was born right in front of our eyes. <laughs> My goodness. All right, you guys. So that was Andre, entry by Andre. Thank you so much for participating and congratulations on your fifth place. Let's go ahead and jump into fourth place. So in fourth place, we have a Muir Leopard Heights by Aaron, and this is phenomenal, you guys. Look at the detail on this. We'll walk down here and look at this first little viewing opportunity. Let me go ahead and read the description for you a little bit about this build. With the new DLC, I wanted to make an enclosure for the Amur Leopards. I love big cats. I think they're mesmerizing. Although it isn't pride themed, it's something that I love so dearly, and it's something I have pride in. And that's exactly what this contest was meant to be about, right? It was supposed to be something that you were proud of, something that represents you and something that you can take pride in. So this is beautiful, Erin. I love this climbing structure situation that you've put together. I think it looks 
phenomenal. I love all the different kind of textures. I think that's something that makes things look really realistic is if you don't just use all of the log pieces or all of the fallen trees. You know what I mean? It's just lots of different textures going on everywhere. And this is just a phenomenal, look at this education right here. We've got some doors, which I assume go into the habitat maybe? I think so. We won't go in there just yet. We're going to go over here because there's an incredible, oh, look at this detail over here. That's such a simple thing, but I love that so much. <laughs> Let's go ahead on the inside because you crazy person did do an interior. We've got education. Oh, hello. We are in a wall. <laughs> we got some education on both sides. Love this use of this new piece that came with a conservation pack. This is a single panel glass piece and it's got the little details on here. It looks great as a door. Phenomenal. Okay. Let's go on in here. We have more education. Education. Look at this interior space. Love the new ceiling fan. Education over on that side. We've got like a little step up area where we can see the leopards on the inside. More climbing all over the place for them. I love the use of the backdrop images as well. Very realistic where zoos will kind of paint the inside of their enclosures like that. All right. Bad guess time. Let's see. Can we go through here and take a uh, a quick peek love the guillotine doors this one's closed so obviously this leopard is being kept separate from the others for whatever reason but we do have another outdoor little section right here i love all the little doors look at this so that's one of the little habitat doors so that that's where the keepers would actually come in and out and we've got a little backstage area let's jump out of here real quick was there anything in here and no, this is just, okay, that's where they would go into the inside. Okay, perfect. We've got our actual facilities here. Uh, the curbing is great. Something like that. Just that little bit of detail adds so much. We have a dumpster, pallet, little wheelbarrow, little guy hanging out, little potted plants. Buckets are upside down. I love it. Were you paying attention to my video or did you just do that uh, because? <laughs> we have some shelves back here. Uh, another little, this looks like maybe a, a medical holding area or just more little, little cages. I love the vast uh, uh, variety, I guess. That's a weird way to put it. But all the guillotine doors with all the different shiftable opportunities to put cats in different little enclosures. I love it. Let's go back over here. We've got some solar uh, power. Ooh, look at these stairs. Can I go up there? Will it let me go up there in explore mode? <gasps> it will. Look at us. We can get onto the roof. We have a nice green planted roof up here and a nice overview of the enclosure. Okay, I don't necessarily know if we're supposed to be up here, so let's go back down and go around to the back side of the enclosure back here. We have a very nice fenced in uh, right there. <laughs> Very nice fenced in enclosure. We can get on the inside and be a bad guest running around. Again, all these guillotine doors leading out. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that the backstage looks very utilitarian and then the front of house, the actual habitat itself looks very lush and zoo-like. There was a little baby leopard running around in there. He's right there. Uh, and I love it. This is so well detailed, so well done. Uh, I love this. I don't know why this is my favorite part. I love this so much. <laughs> this little archway detail is great. And you have a great use of foliage as well. Trees are planted in the perfect spots to give a little bit of shade, but also detail wherever you're looking around. Brand new tree right here. Oh, hello, camera. I love it. So very, very good job, Erin. Thank you so much for participating. As always, I know you've entered contests in the past and congratulations on your fourth place win. Let's go ahead and move on to third place. All right, next up we have Redwood Grove by Sin Brittany. Third place. Congratulations. This build is absolutely beautiful. As you can see here, it is for the Chevalsky's Wild Horse. And I love this dome that we walk into. But before we go in there, let's take a look over here. We have little bee box. And then over here, I think is the cutest thing. We have uh, Pip Shot smoothies and Bernie's Bakes, but it's all 
all bee themed. Look at these little decals on the wall. I think it's adorable. It has a very cute little garden, outdoorsy camping feel to it. We got a little insect home over there. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead into the dome where we have this magnificent centerpiece tree, which is really, really cool. And one of my favorite things that you did is this little log with the little lamps on top. Like I said, it feels very camping. We want to protect those frogs. So we got some education over there. Nice big windows to look out into the actual habitat. All the horses are over on this side. Of course, you can see them all hanging out over there. We even got some little babies in there. Let's go take a look. Scratching pillar for enrichment, little planter boxes. We're going to hop this little fence here and go on in. I love this little planter box. Little feeder box is what it looks like. Very cool. The little hinges so you could open this up and put stuff in there for them to eat. Very cool. Some custom enrichment. We've got all our horses just kind of standing around. Nice little shelter in here for them. I love the use of the decals. Uh, have these horses been kicking and biting on their shelter? <laughs> That's what horses do. Little babies over here and this custom fence all around the outside. I think this is beautiful because this obviously it keeps the animals in, but it doesn't obstruct the view. I love where you chose to place this because you've got this beautiful mountain range kind of in the backdrop here and it really gives like an open feeling to this habitat. I think it's wonderful. If we back up here, we get the view of this beautiful little dome and viewing area over over here from this side where they've got some water separating them obviously because they need to drink and it also is beautiful very very well done let's go ahead and jump out make sure i didn't miss anything Ooh, we've got some moss and greenery on top over there what a beautiful build what a beautiful build very very simplistic in its like style oh there's a little garden walk oh we can't miss this so we go down here. What does that say on the side? Oh, that just says restrooms inside. We have this little garden walk down here. How pretty is that? With all these little lanterns on the logs and things. Little paw prints for kids to kind of jump on. That's cute in the water. Some frog signs. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm glad I didn't miss that. I almost did. What a cool, cool little addition. It's little things like this that really make the enclosures feel more like they belong in like a zoo or a park, right? So the little things like this for people to do in between seeing the animals, I think is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much, uh, Brittany. Sin Brittany is the name of the creator. Thank you so much for entering as always. Absolutely love it. We've got a little backstage area over here. Hoses, pallets. Oh, another one of those little uh, feeder enrichment things. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much for entering and congratulations on your third place win. Let's go ahead and jump in to second place. All right, in second place, we have Hiwaga, hopefully I pronounced that right, Zoo Light Festival. This is by Liv, and the description says, to celebrate Pride Month, the Hiwaga Zoo decided to move its light festival two months forward and light up the park in the color of pride to show our support for the LGBTQ plus community and just Take a look at this. We have a restaurant. How beautiful are all the lights, pillows along these little tables. Oh, and this keeper's just going to walk right on through. <laughs> Don't mind us. I think this is beautiful. And it's, again, like I mentioned in our the first one that we um, toured, is that the pride is very subtle. So it looks like it is a an actual zoo, a park, and they've just decorated for pride, which is Fantastic! Look at all these little orbs in the water! And I think this is Capybara, because that's what the sign said at front, right? We'll, we'll be a bad guest and we'll run in there and take a look. Ooh, I love this fencing. That's pretty. I like that a lot. 
<laughs> but I love this. I mean, just look at the atmosphere in this little restaurant. It's beautiful. I would want to rent out this table for my friends and family and kind of hang out here in this little like secluded corner. Um, but if it was just a couple people, I think I'd want to sit out here so that I could see the little capybaras running around. But how cool is that? Let's go ahead out here and see what's on the other side. This is remember after your business to wash your dirty paws. So this is a bathroom. Beautiful. Awesome. Very, very cool. Look at these custom doors and everything. This is awesome. The little hinge piece. Ooh, that makes a really good handle. That's phenomenal. And these lights. Very cool. Let's head out over here around the corner here as we run. <gasps> look at the fairy lights. Those look so good. Those are a piece that I never... Are you just going to run around with an animal in your hands this whole time? <laughs> okay, have fun. Uh, I never use these little pieces, but these look great. The little fairy lights. But if we head over here, I believe this is like the capybara. Yeah, the capybara kind of viewing area. Check out that pride flag. Little covered viewing for these guys. This is where we're going to be a bad guest and run on in here. There they are, little babies. Look at their meal. These guys get fed really well. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of stuff. Little shelter in here. The capybara's running around. Oh, are you going to play in the sprinkler? Are you going to play in the sprinkler for us? Or are you waiting for your baby to do something? I think you're just going to hang out. I'm not quite sure what you're doing. But very... Oh, very cool. I love the little babies running around. They've got some lily pads in here. Wow, this is a really good example of why I should utilize lighting more. I always build in daytime. I always build it like right at the peak where the sun is at the highest and it's all nice and bright and everything. But like, look at what you can achieve with some, oh my gosh, look at this little path back here, this little garden path. Oh, that's so cool. That's so pretty with the little rocks in the ground and these orbs all over the place. I mean, it is supposed to be a light festival, right? Let's make sure we didn't miss anything in the bathroom because I didn't actually go in here. But let's see. Oh, very cool. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. One second. We've got some sinks, lights in here. Oh, very, very cool. I love this. And this, this all is in the same style as the shelter is for the capybara, really kind of bringing it together. Look at these potted plants with the little lights in the inside of them. What a cool use of these little fairy lights. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Thank you so much for entering Liv. This is an absolutely gorgeous build. And again, a reminder for me that I need to build in a different daylight setting once in a while because this is beautiful but congratulations on your second place win let's go ahead and jump in to first place and in first place we have pride island by jananas and this is gorgeous so we're greeted by these beautiful rainbow stairs we can see a rainbow in the background sign that says pride island we have some um bikes in the on the left hand side here this is the entrance that is the exit uh i love this project so much this build so much it's beautiful let me go ahead as we enter here through the little rainbow let's go ahead and read the little description enjoy your time at pride island a tropical paradise filled with fun fun and more fun celebrate who you are celebrate others and have a party and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to visit the otter habitat to soak up some love from those cute little ones. I love it. So we have basically a, a little water park. This is this is great. This actually reminded me instantly of Estan just because I know how, how much he loves water parks and building water parks. So I'm going to send him some screenshots of this and, and see what he has to say because he's got to love it. We got a little splash pad here. We have a waterfall uh, into a slide. Really nice use of the enrichment item there. Check out this volcano that this like slide wraps around and comes down down. We have a bucket here that's spilling water onto the splash pad. Um, all this is so well done. And I love the fact that it's like, you know, it's like actually water. I would be very frustrated, I feel, 
building with this much water, but you did a fantastic job. We have a little diving board, a higher diving board, very good use of this little bracket piece uh, or hinge piece, I think it technically is. So you'll see that throughout this build. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything over here. <gasps> a sand place and a bounce house. How cool is that? We have some food back over here. I think that's it. I think that might be a restroom. Very cool. Let's go over and check out this little pool. So this is, uh, I imagine, a little bit calmer of a pool. This is where I would be, laying down here, trying to be away from all the children on the splash pad and the slide and all that kind of stuff. Just trying to relax uh, and enjoy my little pineapple drink right there. Love it. Very good use of the brand new 3D printed wall. Look at these little change stations. Uh, change stations or showers or both? Actually, these might be showers and change stations. Either way, very cool. We have some beautiful lockers. How cool is that? Everything is rainbow colored, of course, to celebrate pride. I think this is phenomenal. You hit the theme on the head here. This is a, a build to definitely be proud of. Let's go ahead over here into the volcano where, wow, you can see the slide actually coming through overhead and then you get to see the otters can we actually see any of them are any of them around kind of swimming swimming around i don't see any over here oh there goes one across the top <laughs> we'll head over there and see if we can't get a better view look at all this grass these new grass pieces are are great meet the otters no food or beverages beyond this point that's right don't feed our little otters one of them just ran that way there's a little one on the little dock area Love the use of this new window panel for doors. I think it's great. Look at that. Wow, look at that. That's really cool how it's kind of pulled to the side. There's a little area in here for the otters. Cool, so we can actually go in with them. Little paw print enrichment thing in front of their little mud area. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, there they are. <laughs> They're sleeping, hanging out. Really cool. Look at all this uh, border for the plants. It's all colored, uh, pretty colors and rainbow things like that. Oh, he's going to push the little ball right in front of us. These are all like little babies. Is this an otter enclosure full of baby otters? Because that is, that's just phenomenal. Or no, these are the smaller otters. That's right. <laughs> I was used to seeing the, the giant otters, right? But these are, these are the small clawed otters. So they're a little smaller. How beautiful is this? Reminds me of a golf course up here, kind of. But, oh my gosh. So, oh, we didn't even go up to the top where we can go down the water slide. We have to do that. Let's go back through here. Excuse me, pardon me. Through all the little otters. Back through our doors. Whoop, kind of through the door. And then we can go up here. So up, up, up. And then we get to see water slide rules. Always slide feet first and only after previous sliders cleared the area. No jumping or diving from slide from slide, only two people at a time allowed. <gasps> Look, we have little inner tubes and then you can go down the slide. How cool is that? Or you can go up some more and you can go down the big volcano slide. My goodness, do I wish this actually worked and <laughs> we could slide down the slide, but we can slide down this one. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's jump out and take an overview look at this. I love the bounce house, to be honest. That's such a cool little uh, use of that space over there. A little sand castle building area with some really pretty umbrellas. This is just gorgeous. This, oh, it reminds me of summertime. It makes me want to go to the pool. I love this so much, and I don't even really like water parks that much, but this makes me want to go to one. <laughs> very, very good job, Jananas. Thank you so much, as always, for participating. I know you've participated in a lot of our contests in the past, and congratulations on your first place win. This is phenomenal. So thank you guys so much to 
all of the contestants. If I haven't said it already, these are all up on the workshop. Links are down in the description below. Download them, show them some love. These creators worked very, very hard on these. And on our next stream, Thursday at 10 a.m., we'll take a look at all of the participants and uh, even if they weren't the top five. So we'll very quickly go through those before jumping into some building in Planet Zoo like we always do on Thursdays. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed any of these builds, go ahead and leave a like down below. Leave a comment, which was your favorite. Just show some love for these creators. And until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.